Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, simplify an expression by applying the product rule of exponents. So I wrote up the product rule right here, x to the fifth times x to the n equals x to the m times n. So basically, when we're multiplying two exponents, as long as the base is the same, all we need to do to simplify is add the powers. And what I'm going to do is just kind of use some numbers here to kind of make sense of uh, the product property. So let's pretend I have 2 squared times 2 cubed. Now, we know that 2 squared is 4, and we know that 2 cubed is 8. So we know the answer is going to be 32. Now, if we follow along our uh, understanding of the product rule, 2 squared times 2 to the cubed is going to equal 2 to the fifth power, which, if you don't know, is 32. But we can, again, justify that result as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which, again, will give you 32. So therefore, you can see that the power rule works. I don't feel that my microphone is working out. Ah, it's all good. OK. So all we're simply doing is adding the powers when we're working through these. So in this first example, um, now we have, now again, they'll remember that only works when the base is exactly the same. So here I have my bases are exactly the same, and I'm just going to add my powers. So x squared times x cubed is just simply going to be x to the 2 plus 3, which equals x to the fifth. Now. Um, so hopefully, we don't need to do more and more examples of those. You just add the powers as long as the base is the same. What I did want to do, though, is add one where uh, we have some numbers in front. And that kind of causes a little bit of an issue. But if you remember, when we do like 3x times you know, 5x, well, we multiply the numbers separately and then multiplying the, uh, the variables. So here, I'm going to multiply the 4 times 3. So that's going to be separate. And then I'm going to do y squared times y to the fifth. So you multiply the numbers separately and the exponent separately. So 4 times 3 is 12. y squared times y to the fifth is y to the 2 plus 5, which equals 12 times y to the seventh. Um, the next thing is now let's go ahead and work with multiple variables. What if I have an a and a b? I'm not just dealing with x's or y's. Well, again, we can, the power rule only works, or I'm sorry, the product rule only works when the bases are exactly the same. So again, I'm going to kind of group these. a squared times a to the fifth, and b cubed times b to the seventh. OK, because remember, order doesn't technically matter. These are all multiplied by each other. So 2 times 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 2 times 3. So we can rearrange them, um, and, we'll, and it won't change anything. So therefore, this is a to the 2 plus 5, and this is b to the 3 plus 7. So therefore, my final result is a to the 7, b to the 10th. OK? Um, here's one exact example. It's the exact same thing, except now I just threw some numbers in front. So again, we're going to now group the numbers, group the x's. Um, now you can see I have a y and a w. Those are not the same. So therefore, I'm just going to leave that as y times w to the fourth. So 3 times negative 8 is going to be a negative 54. Um, x squared times x to the fifth is going to be x to the seventh. And then we have y and w to the fourth. All right, the next one, fractions. A lot of students will see the fractions, and that will like automatically confuse them. But remember, when you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So all I'm simply going to be doing is multiplying straight across. So I'll have 7x to the fifth y, or I'm sorry, x to the fourth. And then down below, I'll have 3 times 2 times y. Well, x to the fifth times x to the fourth is x to the ninth. 3 times 2 is 6 and times y. When we can't simplify a result, so that's going to be our final answer. Um, over here, I again, I'm just going to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. You can see that I have x's and y's, though, here. So I'm going to group them together. So it's going to be x squared times x cubed y squared times y to the seventh all over z squared times z to the ninth. OK, so now I'm just going to add the, add the powers for the x's, add the powers for the y's, and add the powers for the z's. So therefore, I'll obtain x to the fifth, y to the ninth, and z to the eleventh. Trying to get that eleven. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simple um, simple expressions with exponents by using the product rule. Thanks.